Now, recompose myself, talk about this quality. I'm gonna talk a little bitter. As far as cost. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crafted Catastrophes. Today we're putting two Core XY enclosed FDM 3D printers in the ring. The Bamboo X1 Carbon. And the new kit on the block, the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. One is premium and polished, and the other surprisingly powerful for the price and plenty of room to grow. Let's see how they stack up against each other in speed, print quality, features, noise, weight, and overall value. We want to help you decide which one might fit in your budget and workflow. Our plan today is not only compare the Elegoo Centauri Carbon with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, but also compare end result in print quality. We understand that this is not the direct competitor to the X1 Carbon, but if you can't afford such a machine, will this one present similar results at least? We'll be using the Bamboo Lab filaments in each printer using Bamboo Lab's Green Galaxy, Yellow Glow, and Transparent Purple Pet G. We shared each roll and identical models to see how they stack up to print speed, print quality, and weight. We matched the slicer settings as close as possible, but the slight variance in print time, in our opinion, comes down to the software. The Bamboo X1 Carbon is a flagship poor XY printer with a speed of 500 millimeters per second, 20,000 millimeters per second acceleration, LiDAR calibration, temperature control due to the enclosure, AI spaghetti detection, and an AMS multicolor system. Overall, it's fast, reliable, and feels premier. It changed the game for 3D printers and made it more possible than ever to implement multiple printers known as print farms for those that rely on constant output for both large and small businesses. Many companies responded with their iteration of this model and the growth of the 3D printing community flourishes more than ever. The price is most impressive and is a large part of the appeal due to all of the features that you get. It also has an enclosed design, core XY motion system, clipper firmware with an Elegoo web interface, and even some customizable features out of the box. The best thing about our newest arrival is it's constantly being improved upon every release, and they're also preparing to launch a multicolor filament system. It's a very exciting time to be part of such a quickly growing community. It's crazy to think that the Centauri is offering this much in a sub $300 machine. I was a bit skeptical to dig deeper into this machine, but the more I use it, the more I love the simplicity and reliability for our 3D printing business. I was honestly expecting to see major corners cut to bring the cost down, but most of the vulnerabilities can be fixed with some creative mods from the 3D printing community and firmware updates. Also, it's just a fun machine to customize for those of us that enjoy that kind of thing. As you can tell, the specs are closer than you would think, but we're not here for those numbers. We're here for real world performance and experience. So let's get this party started. We printed the same 3D Dragon with Cinderwing 3D using the same filament and comparable slicer settings. These settings are basic default settings of 0.20 millimeter standard on a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. No supports were necessary, so what you see are slicer choices. The Elegoo print is definitely sellable quality, but how close does it come to the Bamboo X1 Carbon? Is it better? Mandy and I printed ours at home, and as soon as we were done, we ran over and gave Sean and Jill the remaining filament so they could print the same model and present fair results. As you can tell, these models are quite similar in their quality. Bamboo Lab X1C takes the edge in flow consistency thanks to that LiDAR tuning. The weight of both dragons are Elegoo coming in at 150 grams and the X1 Carbon Dragon weighs 146 grams. The Bamboo X1C finished in 8 hours and 52 minutes, the Centauri Carbon 9 hours and 19 minutes. Obviously not neck and neck, but an extra 27 minutes for a model such as this is just fine with us when saving almost $1,000 for a more expensive 3D printer. As far as cost, the Elegoo cost factors the filament cost per dragon at $3.39, so selling such a dragon for $20 is a very good profit. The X1 Carbon factored $3.62. We ensure both had the same pricing of standard $24.99 in the settings, which is the current cost from Bamboo Lab. Our second model is a balloon animal from Maker World. We are using a purple transparent pet G. We use the basic default settings for this print as well. The Centauri Carbon took 8 hours and 26 minutes, while the X1 Carbon took 8 hours and 58 minutes. 
As far as cost goes for the balloon animal, the Elegoo cost $4.62 to print, and the Bamboo Lab calculated $5.06 with the basic default settings. The weight of the balloon dog on the Elegoo came in at 200 grams, and the Bamboo Lab balloon dog was 213 grams. As for the quality, I think that the bamboo is brighter, shinier if you will, and the color is a bit deeper than the Elegoo. Also, um, I think maybe because of the deepness of the color, the richness of the color, you don't see the striations or the circles in the filament like you do a little bit more in the Elegoo. But they're both adorable, and this Elegoo is equally as sellable as this Bamboo Lab. Our last model is a ghost also from Maker World. We're using a yellow glow filament and it is one of our favorites because it illuminates very well. The Bamboo Lab slicer estimated this to be two hours and seven minutes and the Elegoo slice is two hours and six minutes. So that just means we should get really close comparisons. As far as cost goes for the Ghost, it costs $2.68 on the Centauri to print with a spool cost of $24.99 US. With the same spool, the cost from the Bamboo Lab came in at $2.76 US and both models with a 15% infill. The total weight came in at 100 grams even for the Elegoo and the total bamboo weight is slightly higher with the same percentage infill at 110 grams. We've shared the facts with you but true opinion is just as valuable. And by seeing some of your comments on other videos, our opinion is there is a wide variety of experiences in the community. It is seriously impressive considering the Centauri costs a fraction of the bamboo. You can literally buy four of these machines for one X1 carbon. So then you can have four times the sellable products. Sounds pretty enticing, doesn't it? The older version of Clipper gives you full control of macros, mesh leveling, and tuning on the fly. Why do I mention this? Because there are so many more experienced users that dig deeper into the weeds and strive to get more control out of their printers. So if that's your thing, here you go. The Bamboo's AMS system is plug and play for multicolor prints up to four spools at once. If you buy four AMS systems, you'll get 16 color prints. It's fun and flashy, but can use up a ton of filament waste. While we're not comparing multicolor printing, we just want to make mention that a new multicolor system is soon to be released by Elegoo for this printer also, so keep your ears to the ground. The Centauri Carbon runs a little louder at 53 to 56 decibels, especially during fast infill moves, but not loud enough to bother most home users that have an extra room to set up this printer. Just saying, it's loud. Here's also where the Centauri really shocks people. The Bamboo X1 Carbon with AMS is priced at around $1,450 US dollars, and the Centauri Carbon is $299 US dollars. That's not just cheaper, it's a whole different price class. There are so many opinions to which printers this was meant to compete with, and from our perspective, any of them with a higher price tag. This printer punches well above its weight class. And it's not a toy, it's the real deal. Just not as polished or plug and play as the bamboo, but as we mentioned, it's only going to continue getting better. It's also more available to more household budgets. At around 1450 USD, you're paying for ease and refinement with bamboo. With Centauri, you're paying for raw capability while keeping your wallet happy. More filament, more prints, and more growth makes this a worthwhile consideration. So what's the verdict? Well, they both share a hassle-free printing right out of the box. Overall, Bamboo wins for ease, comfort, and color quality. Centauri wins for flexibility and modability. Being that both printers are fully enclosed, they're safe for high temp materials like ABS and ASA. Both printers also have cooling fans and carbon filters for those airborne toxic particles that come from these more abrasive materials. They both print beautifully, but the X1 Carbon carries a serious edge when it comes to refinement, ability, and build materials, but understandingly comes in with a more pricey bottom line. At the higher price, we still believe that the Bamboo X1 Carbon is absolutely worth the investment. They provide more print profiles from popular filament manufacturers, and Elegoo will eventually catch up. Bamboo has a solid mobile app to look in on your prints and also receive notifications of errors and completions. Elegoo is currently working on such an app, and we are patiently waiting. We are aware of third-party access like Octo Everywhere, but 
Many believe that Elegoo's Matrix app is the answer, but not as of today, July 31st, 2025. Currently, when you go to add a printer, all that shows up is the resin printer lineup, so we are being patient and can't wait to see what they provide. Bamboo Lab also has an edge on the Centauri Carbon due to the available mods, upgrades, and replacement parts. Elegoo has taken a bit too long for most users who got their models early to stock replacement parts, but they are slowly becoming available, but still limited. Bottom line is, the user experience will be more polished for Bamboo Labs, but we are hopeful that Elegoo will continue to make great strides in user experience, print profiles, and spare parts. If you're budget conscious, love tinkering, or want to get serious performance for under $300, you might want to take a look at the Centauri Carbon. You can have several printers for the same cost of one X1 Carbon and fill those tables with prints for your next market fair or online sale. The Elegoo Centauri Carbon is high on the list as the best bang for your buck printer of 2025. If you're looking for a more refined, multicolor experience, then the X1 Carbon or the P1S is for you. Tell us in the comments, would you rather splurge on polish or save big and tune it yourself? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to notify you when new content is available. We're growing rapidly and are constantly coming up with new ideas to share with our 3D printing community. So let us know if there are any other comparisons that you would like us to try. We hope you liked this video and we will see you in the next one. See you later. Bye y'all. Bye. Bye.